Okay, gang, it's been brought to my attention that my no talking policy may have been a little extreme. Okay, I heard that. You were all heard. So, new rule, talking about our feelings is now encouraged. Your manager is listening. Mm. Come on, talk! Marcus, I know you have something. What was it, your nephew's dead? Fat. I'm afraid he's gonna grow into those juicy thighs any day now, and I'm gonna miss it all. Okay. Thank you, Marcus. Let's all come together for Marcus. If you have fat baby photos, send them his way. Uh, skateboard fail videos help, too. They're hilarious. OK, love this. Seems great. But maybe we should set some ground rules. Yeah, like, won't it get really awkward if we all say how we really feel about Corey's new hat? I watched a tutorial on how to cut my own hair. I need a week. OK, I got this. Look, what I'm hearing is Corey's hat is a bummer. Mm -hmm. But Corey's new haircut might be an even bigger bummer. Mm -hmm. Yeah? True. Who's next? I'll go. Mm -hmm. I also hate Corey's hat. Yeah, okay, we've already explored the hat. I feel as though my language is being policed. Like, I should be able to call people mama, or girlfriend, or my bad biatch. Should you? I keep putting my funny bumper stickers on Sandra's locker, and she keeps peeling them off, and it hurts. Okay. They say I heart musty balls, and it just doesn't really reflect my opinions. Sandra, Earl's in pain. This is not about defending yourself. We are here to listen. Wait, people aren't allowed to defend themselves? Then I have a ton of stuff. OK, maybe we wrap this up. As long as we're airing things out, has anyone noticed anything different about Sarah's face? This I think we should hear out. Oh, my gosh. I didn't get a nose job. I got new glasses and a freaking haircut. Girl, obviously. <laughs> OK, you know what? Gary totally stole my look, and no one is talking about it. How is this your look? Not the look I have now, the look I was going to go for. OK, guys, the goal is not to fight. I think Jerry should have ended up with Carol. <gasps> How dare you? OK, OK, OK. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, that's our time. This was good. Is everybody good? We're good? Are you kidding? You made everything worse. Yeah, and now I have to go back out and work next to someone who thinks I ate a curly fry off the ground. I what I saw. OK, all right, uh, new rule. Uh, no one can be mad about whatever was said in this room, OK? You just have to all go out there and act normal. So, a uh, break. Oh, this whole day sucks. Yeah, Dina, I'm sorry, no offense, but I've never seen anyone worse at this job. Mm. Yeah. yeah, when's Glenn coming back? Yeah, when's Glenn? Don't let him get you down, Mama. Jesus, Justine, take a note. Today was a little bumpy. But hey, sales are up. We gave out a ton of those bobbleheads. God forgive us. We basically had a mutiny on our hands. People wanted Glenn back. They even lost Cheyenne. And she followed a balloon with a smiley face on it. Which is basically what Glenn is. Man, I just thought I'd be so good at this. I'm sorry. Do you want to talk about it? I just did. Oh, you mean more? God, no. Look, I don't understand why everybody wants to talk everything to death. Like, whatever happened to just taking a baseball bat to your neighbor's trash can? OK. Well, do you want to, like, go smash something? Yeah. Yeah, I do. How do you feel, Justine? Amazing. I have been wanting to hit something with a bat since the lemonade video. Bring back Vampire Diaries! The hat was a gift. Oh, we're doing this because we're no, real. Don't need to know. No, honey, just put two weeks worth of ham in the garage and then I can. What? 